hey genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom i am thankful for letting me know my negatives at the outside i wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years in spite of the three waves of corona with fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress already all variants of cancer according to who world health organization in full swing in india all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe it is social activist and good hearted preacher professor s suresh back with altruistic delight enticed excited like an infant to learn the unknowns for my 201st video on anvil of publication on youtube today 12th december 2022 monday the topic for today is wealth from waste all of us like to be rich right minting money i assure you my videos are short and sweet worth every femtosecond of your precious time we are martyred but our videos are immortal so we live through our videos forever so i am confident that i live forever having published on and video so far including this video for the benefit of society that to absolutely free i will start with the old adage one man's waste is another man's wealth let me give you some classic examples in olden times people were using cow dung cow shit and uh, cow shit as a natural fertilizer and uh, cow urine which is called as comium for as an antiseptic even uh, cow dung was used as an antiseptic okay then we started uh, extracting uh, cobalt gas generating cobalt gas from cow dung and using it as a fuel right these were considered as waste uh, once upon a time really right and even the excreta not the excreta i'm sorry when the cattle fart as well as the humans fart the fart contains lot of gas especially methane gas which has high calorific value which can be used as a fuel as a matter of fact in us one person uh, died while passing gas in his toilet in the restroom because that the methane in the gas exploded hard to believe right but these are facts and uh, a few years back i think in australia they extracted proteins from human excreta human shit and they gave it an app name shit burger it was very expensive burger okay you can check the facts and uh, okay now you know patanjali a brand in india selling so called ayurvedic products and all that they are selling even uh, comium cow urine as a medicine selling it in sachets and bottles and all that and the cow dung was used for sanitizing the house they used to even when they put the columns they used to put uh, one piece of cow dung at the center of that column and even to what is it for the conventional uh, wooden stove they used to apply cow dung because they considered that as a very good antiseptic these are all facts okay and uh, remember the three r strategy first r stands for reduce reduce when it comes to waste reuse recycle these are the three r let me repeat three r strategy when it comes to waste one is reduce then reuse then uh, recycle okay waste or unwanted or unusable materials waste is any substance which is discarded after primary use or is worthless defective and of no use a by product by contrast is a joint product of relatively minor economic value a waste product may become a by product joint product or resource through an invention that raises a waste products value above zero what constitutes waste depends on the eye of the beholder one person's waste can be a resource for another person this video is particularly about this value addition conversion which can be called as recycling okay types of waste municipal waste the organization for economic cooperation and development oecd shortly 
defines municipal solid waste msw as waste collected and treated by or by or for municipalities big towns typically this type of waste includes household waste commercial waste and demolition or construction waste household waste also known as trash or garbage are items that are typically thrown away daily from ordinary households items often included in this category include product packaging yard waste clothing food scraps appliances paints and batteries most of the items that are collected by municipalities end up in landfills across the world uh, as a matter of fact they say the landfills i mean the waste the garbage in these landfills solid landfills one can see even from the moon i am not joking construction and demolition waste the environmental protection agency epa shortly in usa defines this type of waste as construction and demolition shortly c and d debris is a type of waste that is not included in msw items typically found in c and d include but are not limited to steel wood products drywall and plaster brick and clay tile asphalt shingles concrete and asphalt generally speaking construction and demolition waste can be categorized as any components required to build infrastructures hazardous waste epa def- defines hazardous waste as waste with the properties that make it dang- dangerous or capable of having a harmful effect on human health or the environment examples include nuclear waste plastics volatile organic compounds we will see shortly solid liquid gas effluents from industries main perp- perpetrators real assholes jackass motherfuckers dickheads whatever you call them let out without any treatment whatsoever polluting land water atmosphere whatever you can think of radioactive waste often referred to as nuclear waste is produced by various industries such as nuclear power plants nuclear reactors hospitals research centers and mining facilities any activity that involves radioactive material can generate radioactive waste radioactive waste generates radioactive particles which are which if not handled correctly can be both an environmental hazard as well as the human health hazard us has classified this waste into five categories waste high level waste trans uranic waste uranium or thorium mill tailings low level waste technologically enhanced naturally occurring radioactive material shortly ten o r m energetic hazardous waste epa defines again usa energetic hazardous waste as waste that have the potential to definite detonate and bulk military propellants which cannot safely be disposed of through other modes of transport treatments the items which typically fall under this category include munitions fireworks flares flares hobby rockets and automobile propellants electronic waste often referred to as e waste or e scrap are often thrown away or sent to recycle e waste continues to end up in landfills across the world the epa estimates that in 2009 2.7 million tons of televisions computers cell phones printers scanners and fax machines were discarded by us consumers alone only 25% of these devices were recycled the remainder ended up in landfills across the us e waste contains many elements that can be recycled or reused many of the internal components include oil iron gold palladium platinum and copper all of which are mined from earth's core for these items to be mined it requires massive amounts of energy to operate the equipment which emits greenhouse gases into the atmosphere by donating e waste to recycling centers or uh, refurbishing this equipment can reduce the greenhouse gases emitted through the mining process it will also lower the usage of our naturally formed products to ensure future generations will have sufficient natural resources i am doing some editing 
simultaneously mixed waste most commonly mixed waste refers to hazardous waste which contains radioactive material medical waste this type of waste is typically generated from hospitals physicians offices dental practices blood banks veterinary offices and research facilities the waste has often been contaminated with bodily fluids from humans or animals examples of this type of contamination can include blood vomit urine and other bodily fluids in developing countries and underdeveloped countries like india this waste is dumped in dumpsters garbage uh, bins men on and only for msw municipal solid waste which is fla a flagrant violation committed even by government facilities it is not that the rules and regulations are non existent there are so many loopholes which are thoroughly exploited by unethical lawyers altruistic psychopaths and corruption is so rampant and exists in all spheres of life it is just sheer window dressing if rules and regulations are not enforced to the core irrespective of who commits the offense plastics all industry started using plastics quite extensively since it was very economical for various applications automotive products furniture packaging electronic products toys carry bags spacecraft etc and now they do not want to stop the usage of plastics even though alternate materials are readily available they are used to minting money using plastics for almost anything and everything about 50 years back it wasn't the situation since paper cardboard jute glass wood metal like steel aluminum etc were used for these type of applications besides humans ecosphere and even marine species are adversely affected by usage of plastic so many humans consume fish with indigestible micro nano level plastics which accumulates in their bodies and they perish attributed to this waste even cattle and uh, wild animals consume plastics in some form or another and die even uh, big uh, animals like uh, elephants plastics in storm water drainage system meant only for liquid blocks a free flow of liquid effluents perpetrators are hotels dumping solid waste in these drains um, and menstruating ladies and males dumping tampons condoms sanitary napkins disposable baby diapers etc along with the liquid waste from the house toilets who is responsible for all this this is a type of culling murders culling murders committed by industrialists useless greedy creatures in this world of ours created by almighty waste management waste management or waste disposal includes the process and actions required to manage waste from its inception to its final disposal this includes the collection transport treatment and disposal of waste together with monitoring and regulation of the waste management process and waste related laws technologies economic mechanisms waste can be solid liquid or gases and each type of different methods each type has different methods of disposal and management waste management deals with all types of waste including industrial biological household municipal organic biomedical radioactive waste in most of these cases waste can pose a threat to human health human health like clearing the blocks in sewers manual scavenging still happening in india manually without even basic safety gear which is highly inhuman health issues are associated through the entire process of waste management health issues can also arise directly or indirectly directly through the handling of solid waste and indirectly through the consumption of water soil and food waste management is intended to reduce adverse effects of waste on human health the environment planetary resources and aesthetics appears the big part of waste management deals with the msw municipal solid waste which is created by industries commercial and household activity waste management practices are not uniform among countries regions residential and industrial sectors the effective waste management is relatively expensive usually comprising 20 to 50% of municipal budgets 
according to Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, shortly. MSW municipal solid waste is expected to reach approximately 3.4 gigatons by the year 2050. It may exceed the measures of waste management. This is a conservative estimate. Measures of waste management include measures for integrated techno-economic mechanisms of a circular economy, effective disposal facilities, export and import, control and optimal sustainable design of products that are produced. Wastewater treatment facilities remove pollutants and contaminants physically and chemically to clean water to be returned to society. Resource recovery using waste is using waste as input material to create valuable products as new outputs. Energy recovery from waste is using non-recyclable waste materials and extracting from it heat, electricity or energy through a variety of processes including combustion, gasification, pyrolysisation and anaerobic digestion. This process is referred to as waste energy. Education and awareness in the area of waste and waste management is increasingly important from a global perspective of resource management. Waste minimization involves redesigning products and process and or changing societal patterns of consumption and production. Traditional waste management focuses on processing waste after it is created, concentrating on reuse, recycling and waste energy conversion. Waste minimization involves efforts to avoid or curb creating the waste during manufacturing. To effectively implement waste minimization, the manager requires the knowledge of the production process, cradle to grave analysis, the tracking of materials from the extraction to the return to earth, and details of the composition of the waste. Waste minimization can improve efficient production practices, economic returns, public image, quality of products produced, environmental responsibility. In industry, using more efficient manufacturing process and better materials generally reduces the production of waste. Use recyclable, reusable bags for shopping, home composting, the practice of turning kitchen and garden waste into compost can be considered waste minimization. Individuals can reduce the amount of waste they create by buying fewer of products and by buying products which last longer. Durable, more durable. Industry should use environmentally friendly materials for packaging and as raw materials for products. Mending broken or worn items of clothing or equipment also contributes to minimizing household waste. Do not indulge in impulsive buying. Buy only items which are really required and never be a victim of so-called marketing, promotional offers, clearance sales, etc. Humble. Individuals can minimize their water usage and walk or cycle to the destination rather than using the car to save fuel and cut down on emissions. Turn off electrical equipment when not required, including electrically operated fans and lights. In a domestic situation, the potential for minimization is often dictated by lifestyle. Wasting food, either raw materials processed in whatever form it is, is a real crime. Even governments are storing food grains in open yards. FCA, Food Corporation of India, a classic example. Subjected to all kinds of vagaries of nature besides infestation by pests, rats, healthcare establishments are massive producers of waste. The major sources of healthcare waste are hospitals, laboratories, and uh, research centers, mortuary and autopsy centers, animal research and testing laboratories blood banks and collection services and nursing homes for the elderly. Even life-saving blood medicines are wasted mainly due to improper, obsolete storage methods. Zero waste is a set of principles focused on waste prevention that encourages redesigning resource life cycles so that all products are reused. Always remember the old life. This is what I said initially. Once waste is another source of them. I gave you examples also. Some classic examples, recycling of waste and alternate uses, wealth from waste, generate electricity from organic waste. In olden times, coconut shells, cow dung, coir, etc. were used as fuel, either in conventional boilers or conventional stoves, chulas, used in households. This practice still continues in uh, rural households. During cyclones, so many trees are uprooted, this wood can be used as a conventional fuel. Generate cobar gas from cow dung and use it as a fuel like LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, piped natural gas, PNG, etc. 
generate biogas from organic waste, reduce recycled paper, cardboard, etc. and prevent deforestation, produce paper from animal dung like elephants, camel, etc. Metal waste called either as recyclable scrap should be melted and converted into some form, some other form for usage. Why do you think there is a market for used products? It is either refurbished and resold or usable materials are required. Example, copper is required from electrical wires by stripping the insulation. Electronic products have expensive materials inside which can be recovered and reused directly. Products which are scrapped have so many components and sub-assemblies which are in good condition fit for use. Example, automotive products. There is a place called uh, Spudupet in uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India where this is done quite extensively. But most of it is sold on vehicles and all that. Old clothes and unused processed food can be donated to the poor. Similarly, used products can be donated to the downtrodden. Recovery of materials from electronic electrical batteries. Some of the materials used are very rare and expensive. Child labor is used for mining, especially in countries like Congo. Use recyclable bags for shopping, packaging and storage. Aluminum and tin cans can certainly be recycled. Methane with high calorific energy can be extracted from cattle dung and even human excreta used as fuel directly when they fart, okay, as I said, when they pass gas. Require energy from waste heat by setting up a cogeneration plant or directly from for low grade energy applications. Some part of solid waste can be burnt and electricity can be generated. Provided the gases produced in the process are not hazardous. Carbon fiber is everything, is in everything from desktops, chairs, automobiles to airplanes. The prevalent use of carbon fiber is a direct result of, in, of its increased stability and lower density over aluminum and steel. Recycled carbon fiber does not retain the material integrity of the original product. Carbon fiber has become the industry standard. Recycling these advanced composite materials at the point of manufacturing use industrial scrap under the end of the product life is essential to both these companies and to many other manufacturers working hard to employ these technologies. Even non-recyclable materials can be compacted and used as building material for the walls, like plastics, even glass for that matter. The increase in poultry farming at subsistence level and as a small, medium scale enterprise, SME, concurrently led to the increase and popularization of the litter system of poultry farming, where wood shavings from sawmills have found application as floor overlay for the collection of bird droppings and easy sanitation that by creating a waste market for it. You know the wood shavings are used in uh, what is called as compressed wood which is used to make furnitures and all that. Buy stuff from flea markets where they sell old items at dirt cheap rates but in good condition. Agricultural waste can be used as either animal feed or poultry feed. Farmers burn the stubble after harvesting is complete and produced there, example Haryana, Punjab in India. It is estimated that nearly a quarter of all household waste is organic and can be composted. Geotextiles can be used in a variety of ways that includes as a base material for roads to strengthen river banks, even not, not only to strengthen, uh, to prevent the water flowing out of the river banks and all that. Even non-recyclable plastics can be shredded and mixed with other materials used for roads. This enhances the durability of the roads. That's an advantage. Waste pickers are key factors in the informal economy as they make vital social, ecological and economic contributions to the cities and help migrate, mitigate global warming. Eh. In many 
case it is the provide the only the solid waste collection service these waste pickers operate by scavenging waste directly from the various dump sites the streets of neighborhood in search of abandoned metal scraps and other useful recoverable waste yet they face many hardships including stigma exploitation by middlemen and hazardous working and living conditions waste creation is part of human endeavor but the disposal will be neglected until government creates incentives preferably market based incentives that will encourage both people and enterprises to dispose their waste in an appropriate way source segregation by waste generators is a must to improve effectiveness of recovery and recycling three or strategies it is an acronym for reduce re reuse and recycle reduction is the best way to go really use appropriate cost effective technology for reuse and uh, recycle this list is certainly not exhaustive if we put our minds together we can certainly come up with innovative ways and means for reduction of waste reuse and recycling so let us work on the socially beneficial research starting today rather than on destruction so called defense and turn this world our mother planet a better place to live i am all eyes and ears waiting to hear from you guys debates discussion on open air topics like this can go on forever any anyway, let me pull the plug here we'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic some of the statements views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience always watch these videos with close caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times so far i have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum this time limit is self imposed to read in the viewer's attention as a norm stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attribute the pandemic novel covid-19 and prolong your life span lead a healthy life god also knows the supreme power is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and unnatural maybe by war and cyber war events like pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays a way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of theirs rest in peace and harmony